could I repeat the message from last week from presiding officers that uh, in order to get more members involved in these sessions, brevity is the watchword. Question number one from Alistair Morgan. Uh, thank you, presiding officer. I'll try to comply. Can I ask the Scottish <laughs> Government what, what discussions it has had with ScotRail regarding rail services to and from Stranraer? Stuart Stevenson. Transport Scotland is part of the Scottish Government and meets regularly with Network Rail and ScotRail in the normal course of business to discuss a range of matters, including development of rail services. Alistair Morgan. I'm relieved to hear that, Presiding Officer. Uh, the Minister will be aware that rail fares to Stranraer are disproportionately more expensive than they are to other stations on that line closer to Glasgow, and a 60% increase in mileage compared with the Girvan journey will cost over 100% more in rail fares. Does the Minister agree with me that that very much discourages rail passenger traffic to Stranraer? And will he undertake to raise these issues with Transport Scotland and ScotRail the next time he has one of these meetings with him? Minister. Uh, it, it is, of course, the case that uh, there are different rail fares and different rates uh, per track kilometre across Scotland. Uh, some of the differences are sufficiently large uh, to merit further investigation. There are some 58,000 people uh, travel to Transstand. Tranrar each year in particular uh, to connect with ferry services so it is an integral part of our overall transport uh, infrastructure and I will certainly pursue that with uh, the rail company and Transport Scotland. 